My, 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 the tasteful thickness, the deep red coloring of the kingdom of Baleotyrinia. Here we are with your good friend, King Biscotti, who finally managed to unite the Mediterranean. And now we have that very fancy modifier. I don't know where you see house modifiers. There we are. Masters of the Mediterranean, which allows us to do all sorts of conquests and other such fancy things while we are the masters of the Mediterranean. Somebody did ask, though, um, in, in making this, have we not not kind of doomed ourselves because we've got three kingdom titles well pisa is our uh, titular and uh the kingdom of sardinia and corsica all of the lands within that title were made de jour part of of this one instead as you can see there so all those duchies are under that one so because that title has no land associated with it anymore it it can't it, it's effectively titular as well so all of those will pass down uh to succession all through to uh, you can see it there air to blah 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 with Pan of Chocolat. Very useful. Very handy. Going to keep it all nice and united. And I think things are looking good. Now, somebody did ask in the comments last episode, could we maybe form a uh, an empire of Baleotyrania? Certainly not anytime soon. But eventually, uh, eventually being the operative word here, um, when we have either 120 round size or three kingdoms, which we technically do, and 80 round size, then we can form an empire. The problem is we have 18 realm size. Realm size determined by uh, each individual county, right? So we got like four there and six there and three there and blah, blah, blah. So we really just do not have nearly enough to form an empire. And it'd be a long time before we were able to do that. I do think... A guy with 30 martial and all that combat training and everything else. And, of course, all of those lifestyle perks in martial probably should manifest destiny a little bit more. And I'm thinking we continue with the Mediterranean conquests. There are a few other islands in the Mediterranean outside of Byzantium. In fact, there's pretty much not anywhere. We could go for, like... um. You know, kind of the the outsides of uh, Croatia. We could go for Venice. Venice might make some sense. Uh, of course, we've already got Malta. Uh, that island there is part of Tunis. This one is part of Sfax. Um, all under, of course, Tunisia, or the Kingdom of Africa as it is right now. Um, is it Canary Islands? But that seems a little bit far away. Yeah, I mean, the only other islands left to unify are, of course, under Byzantium. I think Venice is a pretty cool next island to go for. And as I said before, it would be kind of fun if we kept the major part for our dynasty from each one of these islands. So of course, we've got Mallorca, which has the special building and the duchy building and everything else. So this is just a really great candidate to hold. We'll keep uh, Cagliari no matter what. We'll keep Palermo. Maybe Messina as well. I'm not sure. We can build a university there. So that one's pretty good. Obviously, we'll keep Molsa, but then like holding Venice personally would be pretty great. It is a castle holding. Damn. And, and CK2 is a city holding. So, or, or more specifically, it's mainly a city holding with there being a castle holding as a sub holding, which, of course, you can make the capital in CK2. Um, but in this one, it is just a castle holding. I guess it is for situations like this where if we conquest Venice, we might want to hold it personally. And you know what? I think that's a great target to go for. I don't need to fabricate climates on the Mediterranean, right? Oh, Mediterranean conquest for county. Grand city of Veneto or Venezia. Obviously, we go for Venezia for Venice proper. If we take that, the Serene Doge is never coming back from that, huh? He would just have a single... He would just have this county here. Chances are that will just get swallowed up by the HRE. If I had to guess, that's not where Poland is, you liar. <laughs> what, what have they done there? Oh, the borders... Look, they're all sorts of messy, okay? Castile is... is Going for like a like a cross Atlantic kingdom right now. It's a, it's a total mess. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that works. I like the idea of conquesting Venice. Four thousand four hundred troops. That they're, they're strong, but we're of course far stronger. Why not just go for it? Why not just keep the pressure on? I know I said, look, we've we've just made this kingdom. We've got to try and hold it now. You know, we've got to get a lot of control over places. Uh, we've got low control in Messina and Palermo. And I think we've only just really got control over Mallorca. So we've got to be a little bit more careful with things. We can't go too but wild. We've got a lot of conversions to do, both religious and cultural. You know what? Before we start down the war path immediately, maybe let's start work on that, huh? We'll convert over Mallorca first, because that's been there for... Uh, that's obviously been part of our realm a much longer time. Um, this guy is in Ibiza, converting over culture, which is not really so relevant, because that's under a vassal now. I'll move him over to Mallorca. We'll get Mallorca sorted. Oh, is Mallorca already converted? Oh, Sard... 
Culture Sardino French. Oh, you're right. Okay, fair enough then. Um, in that case, let's just keep them to our own domain, and that's our vassal's problem. You know, if they mess things up, that's their own fault, huh? Um, let's move you down to... Uh, let's move you down to Palermo, I suppose. There you go. That seems fine. I I'm kind of happy with this, and then we could just kind of let that tick along here. Three years before we take control of Mallorca, we might need to immediately take control of Venice, but we'll see how that goes. And let's do it. Mediterranean conquest for Venice. I'm happy to do it. And we're totally legally allowed to do this now for reasons that don't really make a huge amount of sense. Welcome to Crusader Kings. Um, I guess we'll raise the troops up here. It's probably the quickest sea tile, because then we've only got to go, what, one, two, three, four, five, six sea tiles over? It's going to be a fast time. Hello, the royal court. What do you want from me? I'm not going mad. That did say there was a notification there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I did remember to, have I already talked about this? Um, I have added some mods, which uh, not only allow us, it's basically all the mods we talked about last episode, right? Ones that allow us to manage our throne room so we can see what we're missing here. We're missing a couple of pedestal items, a couple of furniture and the throne. And then I've also added that other mod I was talking about that lets you see the breakdown for what contributes to a good position for the council. So in this case, primary skill is diplomacy for Jester, and they get a bonus if they're athletic, poets, gregarious, shrewd, stubborn, etc, etc. That way we can, um, you know, put in, like, better core artifices. Or more specifically, I wanted, like, a better... Um, what was it? Court uh, builder, whatever that is. Master architect? Royal architect, that's right. Traits are architect. They're bad if they're blind. That's interesting that they would have taken that into account. And primary skill is uh, stewardship, so we're not really bothered about that one. Right. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's take another thing. Where do I even want to go after that? I do feel like Byzantium, we could. And you got to bear in mind, this guy was arrogant and impatient. We could probably win a war against the Byzantine Empire. I, I feel like that's very, again, arrogant of me to say so. But we're allied to both Francia and uh, the Holy Roman Empire. It would be a, a massive war. But it would it would be so good if we could grab some land from Byzantium. The question is, can we hold it, you know? Because the Byzantines will immediately try and get that back from us, right, as soon as possible. So it might not work. Let's go for it. It should be an easy battle. We've got massive advantage. And that's basically the war over. Because now they're not going to be able to land enough troops to take this back from us. Amazing. My counselor died. Selfish guy. Oh, it's a steward too. Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. Carry on. Karen, you're, you're in Palermo still converting. Yeah, that's fine. We don't really need to worry about cultural conversion all of it, but that's fine. We might as well do it, seeing as, um... What else am I going to do? Collect taxes? Well, maybe. Oh, shit! Did you see that? Oh, Court Granger's level 10. They hired troops and immediately sent them out to immediately turn them back around? What a bunch of fools. Oh, God, and another councillor died. Our marshal. Yikes. And then his replacement is absolutely terrible. Uh, can I search for some knights? Dynasty members. Yeah, I'm not really bothered about that one. You can ransom some people. Oh, I'll ransom someone. Absolutely. Hey, and we actually captured the doge himself. I presume I can't ransom out the doge. It's not going to let me do that, right? The game is the game is very clever. No, he will actually let us ransom out. And then we'll win anyway, right? Because there you go. <laughs> Amazing. Ransom him again. Okay, fine. Um, yes, good. Done. Enforce demands. Thank you. And there it is. Venice is the newest edition to the kingdom of Balio Tyrrhenia. Amazing. That's good. What have we got there? We've got the... Uh, oh, so the Doge's Palace requires you to be a government... A, uh, a republic government. I can't even click it because of the because of the UI thing we've got going on there. Fair enough. Honestly, I, I'm not, I don't hate that. I don't, I don't hate that. It's not terrible. Um, this is all disabled because we're over our domain limit, so I can, I can always give some stuff away, right? Um, what do I want to give away? Do I want to keep Messina? Uh, I kind of, because it's got that university building. Is that more valuable to me than maybe... So that one we can build a church. That one we can build a church. That one's got the mines. I can't give that one away. Ooh, I'm not sure. We can still get the benefit from the university, right? Yeah, and it was a center university education option for rulers within the same realm. So honestly, we can still get that. Hold with this holding gets renowned. Monthly lifestyle experience up by 10% though. Oh, that's a really good. That's really good. <laughs> um, the cathedrals give more tax and more development, which we're going to get from. So the only benefit to holding this person is 0.3 piety. Same with this one. 
Honestly, I can give away to Totoli because it's not as good. This province is like slightly more developed, brings in more taxes. This is plains, this is mountains. I'm going to give away to Totoli. I think I've convinced myself. The, the, uh, let's give it to, yeah, you're good. There you are. The lifestyle experience benefit from having the university is just so bloody good, huh? It's just so good. Um, what I want to do, oh, train for a tournament. Hello. Well, that one we should have been doing all the time. Oh, shit. I wish I'd have noticed that was a, a decision earlier. And then you turn to your right, he yells, while dealing a powerful blow to my sword that makes me take a couple of steps back. They won't go gentle on you in the tournament, my your lord, he says, drying the sweat from his forehead. If you want to win, you can't afford to lose, not even once. <laughs> You're, so there's a chance that we get excellent training. We increase our prowess and we gain strong. 43% chance training is impressive. We get some, tr just some uh, one prowess from that one. Training is successful. 28% chance. We gain well trained. Uh, you start with a higher progress to victory or we become wounded. And then every knight is going to train as well. Holy crap, if we could get strong. You moron. We actually got wounded. Oh. Damn it. How often can we do that? Oh, Jesus. Ten years. Oh, wow. Okay, well, forget about that then. Bit late for that one, huh? Um, I wanted to invite more knights to court as soon as we can, but... We still gotta wait four more years for that. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Um, restore accolades. Potential acclaimed knights appear for each inactive accolade. Oh yeah, we inherited an accolade from um, taking one of the other counties. Now someone did say, please take a look at some of the other accolades because they give such massive bonuses. Oh no, our other one disappeared. Oh shit. No, our, our other accolade has no valid candidates. Oh shit. Okay, well let's go ahead and restore it then. And then, in theory, people will turn to a court that we definitely can give that to, right? Fair enough. Uh, bo 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 John Carling. That's definitely how that's pronounced. Hello, my daughter, Pastissus, has given birth to a daughter. She's so far down the family tree. I'm not going to name her. I'm not going to waste good Sardinian desserts on that one. Ah, oh, and my rival. Was that my rival? I'm pretty sure that was my rival anyway. Nope. Abdul Wahib is my rival. I'm not sure who the other guy was then. Somebody maybe in my prison. Oh, I should ransom some people out. Yeah, please leave by all means. I think we'll just get favor hooks on them, but that's fine. He's not a cruel man. He's not a cruel man. Actually, we did get some gold here and there. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. So, so how do I reinstate an accolade? Uh, if an inactive accolade is empty, appoint a knight to it. Once the accol acclaimed accolade... Once it has an acclaimed knight, the accolade may be reinstated. Right. Okay. Yeah, so that's the other one. The Head Ferris of Ibiza. That's what I was thinking. Um, we'll just get rid of that one. I'd rather make my own, if you don't mind. Yes, there we are. We've actually got someone. Perfect. Gains the Thug attribute. Oh, what do you mean, gains the Thug attribute? What does that do for us? Oh, that doesn't sound very good at all. So the highest levels, then. Thug gives Dread Game per Tyranny and Imprison chance. Actually, that is very good. Holy shit. <laughs> what benefits are we getting from it already? Monthly martial lifestyle experience up by 15%. Oh, it's so... It's so good. You're right. I'm kind of sleeping on these a little bit. <gasps> Let's create a new accolade then. Alderic, my antiquarian and knight, is incredible. Marauder, mentor, or manipulator. So mentor at level 6 gives plus 2 learning, plus 2 knights... Train commander's counselor task. Occ occasionally increase the knight's hostile leader experience. Add lessons of your court gain significant extra prestige and prowess. Whoa. Okay. Uh, Marauder. Month of prestige per dread. Fair enough. And manipulator. Intrigue. Natural dread. Knight effectiveness per dread. Wow, there's a lot of dread going on, isn't there? Oh, shit. Maybe we should be going for... Okay, play this character. He would want the best knights possible, right? Um, secondary attribute, Marauder, Manipulator, or Fanatic. Oh, we've got Disciplinarian. Actually, I should have checked what the first one gave. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Um, Fanatic, then. Oh, it's all the same. It pulls from the same list. Gotcha. Based on, I presume, the Knight's traits. Um, gives a bunch of piety. Piety cost of Holy Wars reduced. I don't think that's really super relevant. Um, <laughs> I say not having been able to declare those Holy Wars before because you didn't have enough piety. Wow, there's a lot of dread. I think Manipulator is probably the best one. The Knight of Carnation. We're going to name you Knight of... Um, what, what have we done? We, we've, we've reformed the Mediterranean. Uh, maybe we could just call you that, though. The Knight of Balio Tyrenia. I think that's how you spell that. Oh, it's right there, you moron. 
<laughs> Did I spell it right? T R Y. Uh, T T Y R R H E N I A. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, cool. Boom. And there you have it. Look at that. This guy's going to be crazy when he's at the highest level then, huh? Man, these are good, aren't they? Oh, these are very cool. Okay, cool. There you go. So we've got the Knight of Dessert, which you might remember was set up by Morang for fairly obvious reasons. And then the Knight of... No, not the Knight of Carnation. That's twice this has happened now. Knight of Balio uh, Tyrenia. There you are. No, don't retire accolades. Save. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't want to do it too many with this one character. I like the idea of using them as kind of that narrative tool. Okay, um, cool. Right, so everything's pretty much under control now. Knight of Dessert lost an accolade rank. Well, that's because he's just a crap knight that I had to... Basically, didn't have a choice but to put in there, huh? So we don't have the Duchy of Venice. If we want to make that Duchy burning, we do need that. But he's still got... He's still got realm in Venice, right? He, uh, technically, he still has some realm in Venice there, even though he doesn't have the island anymore. Um... That's all right. Look, we haven't got enough money to be building duchy buildings everywhere. Let's focus on the important places. So, first things first, then. We can build this one. Gives a good amount of taxes, but we can build windmills now, which give, like, a huge amount of taxes, right? 0 0.7 per month supply limit, and they also give a holding tax bonus, too. Yikes, that's really good. Or do we save up for that university? Because that will give lifestyle experience. You know what? I think we really do, yeah. The development level in Messina needs to be 30 or greater. The windmills give development growth. What is the development growth looking like right now? Uh, excuse me. Uh, month growth 0 0.5. Actually, it probably won't take too long to get up there. It's just ticked up another level anyway. Oh, man. I, I, I might actually get... We don't need cultural conversion so much. It's not super relevant. I would rather get you working on trying to get that... Uh, Trying to get that university faster. It's going to take a little while to build that up then. So we'll we'll not worry about saving up the gold. Palermo has so much potential to be just, like, amazing. So let's build... What should we build here? Like, Royal Armory? Who's cost for hosting the Grand Tournament in this old holding, though? Ugh. Army Gold Maintenance down by 2.5%. I want something that suits this character, right? Morang built that duchy building for having feasts. This guy. Military Academies enables the Train Knights Travel option. That could be good. Mana arms recruitment cost is down by 10%. Army gold, number of knights, knight effectiveness. I might go for the military academy because it suits this guy so well. What better for the guy who launched these wars and managed to take possession of the Mediterranean than military academies? I'm in. Let's do it. That seems like a pretty fun idea. Um, we've discovered banking. Very good. What are we going to go for next on our culture? Um, I'm not really sure. Romanesque art just gives some sort of art style. Okay. Not really sure what that actually does for us, to be honest. Effects. It just says this art style is part of the Latin aesthetic. I'm not sure. Um, land grants. Fabricate claims. Not really sure about that one. Compress several of your claims in a war is really nice, isn't it? Guilds. Unlocks all high medieval era economic buildings. Doesn't really suit this guy. Um, maybe we just go with like Hoardings and upgrade the castles because I think it suits him a little bit better. Have we locked everything down here? Yeah, we're good on this front. Okay, yeah, let's let's go for some military focus because that's what this guy would be into. Archon Andre, hello, my friend. You've got some gold for me. 75 prestige, 6 gold, grandeur, 150 prestige for me. 85 gold and then 150 renown. Thank you. Oh, a bustling, the bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening of a long day of training. My tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Adamar's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying, and for days, their fighting is carrying off the staff and guests. We can either say, I'll pay for your drinks if you leave at once, or we say, soldiers, throw them out, which does kind of suit this guy a bit more. Or, they are too drunk to be a real threat. This will be over quickly. Or he kicks their ass with his 41 prowess. That's very big muscly of him. I like that. Hard rule. Uh, dread gain, siege progress. I don't want that one. Ooh, I don't want any of these. Really, we're just after absolute control, really, aren't we? Um, yeah, these these really don't matter, I don't think, too much. We're in such a powerful position right now, where because we're allied to these, like, two enormous empires on the Mediterranean. Who's gonna stop us, huh? To the Serene King Biscotti of Balio Tyrrhenia, I propose a betrothal between my sister, Maud Normandy Gredos, and your grandson, Gavini Carling. Um. No. 
<laughs> decline. No, absolutely not. I'm not going to commission artifacts. I think we'll we'll invest into infrastructure, even if it is just like, oh, join a tournament. Absolutely, I will. I haven't been saying yes to all the weddings and everything else, but joining a tournament, absolutely. Not a question about it. Um, we won't bother making any detours along the way. This guy's one trap mind, and that mind is combat. Absolutely. Let's go. Saeed, take me over there. Oh, look at him. I suppose we must. As you are attending a grand tournament every single unlanded night, you will have a company you to compete. Fine. Let's go for it. And that puts Pana Chocolat in the... Oh, my caravan master died. Died of cancer. That's very unfortunate. Uh, I don't think it was the guy leading this current caravan. Or at least I hope not. Oh, no, it absolutely was. My old caravan master shed his mortal coil. If only I could read. In fact, there are two who can fill his shoes. My daughter, Pastasis, or the Knight Saeed. Um, they're both good. But, you know what? We're going to go for a little bit of nepotism. Uh, they're both literally good. They both have the same amount of skill, which is apparently good. Okay. Well, uh, teaming with all manner of wildlife, Tillicas and I agree that Pisa would be a splendid place to go on a hunt. We don't have time to stay for a proper out outing. As we traverse the area, I spot a pristine wild rabbit at the edge of the forest. As she spots the radish... Ra radish? Rabbit, she grins. What would you say to a friendly wager, father? Whoever strikes that pristine fellow with an arrow wins. Ooh, 99% chance, by the way, that uh, the arrow fl flawlessly pierces the heart of the rabbit. She gives us some gold. We gain the trait hunter. We lose stress because we're arrogant. Ooh. And closer to forming a friendship with his daughter. Sure. That sounds like a deal. And unsurprisingly, we have shot the rabbit and gained everything we possibly needed. 232, uh, sorry, 235 gold, which I, I guess I'll just immediately invest. Hunter and everything else. Now, what does Hunter give? Does that give some martial bonuses? Prowess plus one. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Stress loss plus 5%, and then opinion of Hunter up by 10, too. I have arrived at the tournament here in Trent. Though not all the revelers have arrived yet, throngs of people wander to and throw from the colorful surroundings. I can't wait for it to start. Now, everybody last time criticized my choice to go to the artisan quarters and try and get better armor and weapons, which I still stand by. Instead, people are saying, go to the tourney grounds. Spending time here will increase your progress to victory. I can see that. I didn't think we really needed it after we annihilated that first tournament, but I'm not taking any chances this time. Lively noises make me discover an improvised arena set up by local peasants where two burly wrestlers are putting on a show. They trade blows, weave and duck and so circle each other until one of them makes a daring move. I call this one the Holy Wheelbarrow, he screams before lifting his opponent and slamming him into the ground, making him yield immediately. As oh the thoughtful and stupendous, victorious yet again. I should study their techniques. We can become inspired by the wrestlers and gain an increased chance of winning. Or, you, the winner, a few coins. Absolutely not. No, study their technique. Your score increases moderately. That's what we want to see. Amazing. So there's a melee, a duel, a wrestling, and then archery. We've never done archery before. So we'll see how this goes. But I'm, I'm just going to go all in on the tournament grounds this time. Hello. Um, a coup to honor our alliance in a war against the... Oh, so it's this person. Who's this? The king of the Kuraid kingdom. Sure. Yes. Is uh, fighting off people calling him a tyrant. No, no, no. It's fine. We'll carry him with the grand tournament. Thank you. Not relevant. Um, we can visit now. Okay. My knight stands assembled for the day's training. Their attendants laden with kit. Ionicos and myself stand before all. Knights, what you do not know, ask humbly to be taught, urges Ionicos. Together we represent the king. Let us together prepare for our glories. He turns to me, eyes gleaming. Command us. So we will say, watch your opponent learn their weaknesses. This option is available because of your triumph intent. Your knight's score increases moderately. Your score increases moderately. We gain stress because we're honest. The Knight of Baleothyrenia gains... Oh, that's good. 25 glory. And the Knight of Desert gains 24 glory. To your saddles, draw your swords. Your score increases slightly. Knight score increases slightly. We gain three track experience in horse and foot and blah, blah, blah. Knights, prove your keenness of both eye and mind. No, we're impatient. Honestly, even though this gives him stress because he's honest. I feel like this guy is, is waiting for a win at this point. That last tournament went terribly. And I think he would be stressed out. I think it's a very legitimate situation where he would absolutely be stressed out. He'd try and, you know, do whatever it takes to win this time. He's got something to prove. So we're going to do it. We're going to take on a tiny little bit of stress. I, I rarely take the options for stress. 
So I think a little bit probably couldn't hurt. My vassal, Judike Saraginu. Saraginu has been wounded and the injury runs deep. Oh, shit. He's at the tournament. And he's severely injured. Oh, I hope he's fine. Um, we qualified, but I'm not sure if any of my knights came with us. Glory will be mine. You were on Count Emrico's team. Okay, fine. Let's do it then. I vowed myself I would win a contest in this tournament. I cannot but consider a less fair approach to securing the prize for the melee competition. I'm sure my opponents would do the same. If only they had the idea. Who knows? Maybe they have already. Emrico is the threat. We're all... Ah, this is 40 stress though. So I think this might be a little bit too much. I think this is too much stress to really justify, right? You know what? I think we're so skilled. Th this guy's got 17 prowess. We don't give a shit about him. Uh, well, I can't even open the screen back up. But he was it was pathetic. There's no way to win. I think we'll I think we'll absolutely annihilate them. A glimpse through the uh, the struggling bodies, the rent helms and swirling dust. Is that a spirit? He has an ethereal beauty to him. No, it's not the spirit. Etched upon his winsome face is the look of pure terror as he looks for a way out. No sooner have I opened my mouth than he trips and falls, his ankle twisting from stepping awkwardly on an errant spear, his mournful eyes welling with tears that he cowers away from the whirling blades. We can say, hold tight, my dear, and rescue this, this attractive boy. Or we can say, Saeed, help him to safety. Or they have to fend for themselves. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a chance that he will die. No, you know what? We can say, hold tight, my dear, and bring with us. There's no downside. We don't lose any score for that. And we're, we're, we're honest. We're not necessarily kind. But, you know, I think we, we wouldn't necessarily just ignore the fella. Yanked from my saddle by a pole arm, I stagger upright, my head ringing. The perpetrators ran on me immediately. My apologies for the rough landing, says Behemoth, but we're not taking any chances. Three of them all heavily armed. Their aim is clear. I am a high-value target, one that will bring great riches in ransom. Stand back now. These three are mine. He's going to fight three on one. 88% chance he goddamn succeeds. Your score increases immensely. Do it. 88% chance. You single-handedly triumph over all three. Yes, he did. Yes, and I will win a soldier's victory. Of course, we will always take that one. One more push. We've done it. Your score increases greatly. Surely we won. We didn't. We didn't win. Wow, we, we succeeded in every single event, but we still didn't win. God damn, that's kind of surprising. Wow, okay, what a chaotic sport. I took every single option that would give us the highest result. Whoa, okay, back to the tournament grounds then. I greet a band of knights as they want to pass me one straggling behind the rest. It makes me pause. Spinning on my heel, I call after the figure. They're clad in shapeless, ill-fitting armor, their eyes wide and clearly terrified beneath the helmet. Stepping forward, I rip the helmet off before they have a chance to react. Standing before me, looking furtively to see if anyone else notices, none other than a woman! Dressed as a knight, no less. Planning to compete as a knight, even. I'll keep your secret. Or I could do with the services of someone like you. Is she good? Oh, she is good! 29 prowess, 19 martial. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely we'll take her on board. Why the hell not? Put me back in the tawny grounds. I could have got fancy swords and armor. And you people just want me to... You want me to train up. Unbelievable. Here we are. Go, Songbird. Go faster. I hear a man's voice echo across the grounds. I look up and see a small thing hurrying through the sky like a black bolt of lightning. Soon enough, it swoops down towards the finishing line. Bah, you must have cheated. Your bird can't fly that fast. Just look at her. She's heavy like a stone. The angry loser shouts with the winner looking smug. I could learn a thing or two. Or we say this is excellent entertainment. Or double or nothing, go again. There's a chance we could win a bet. Or I don't have time for this. You're scoring Chris. No, we're here to win. We need to win. He's failed the first one. I'm happy to maybe say that at this point, he's probably getting quite frustrated, right? If there is any more high stress options, oh, maybe he'd be happy to really go all in, huh? I'm ready. A duel between us and Count Jeffrey. The man's got 18 marshal. We are going to kick his royal ass. Oh, he's not royal. He's not a king. He's a count. Get him. Bring him down. The tension's palpable, huh? An opening. The grate of steel on steel rings around the area as Jeffrey and I strike at each other. All of a sudden, Jeffrey slips his foot sliding and I shove a shoulder into his sternum, sending him sprawling. Jeffrey is slow to recover and suddenly my mind flips back to a training manuals. They said, uh, and the fanciful things they suggested should doing should clear an advantage, should a clear advantage appear. Oh no. 
Almost unconsciously, I start unscrewing the pommel of my weapon. Don't- you can't throw your pommel! We can say finally a chance, and we throw the pommel at him. We can end him righteously! <laughs> it's a meme, in case you're not aware. This is a, this is a meme. How about the blackguard? Yes, kick him while he's down. Hang on, if you throw your pommel at him, you gain stress because you're honest. If we let him stand back up, we gain stress because we're impatient. But if we kick him while he's down, it's fine. Good, yes, kick him. Right, prowess and marshal, always. I think we've actually won one, thank God. Well, we've won a round of a tournament, so let's not count our chickens quite yet. Victory, thank you. Next round, please. I can do this, of course we're gonna do 69%, absolutely. Face me, coward, because we're arrogant, or I'll teach him to show his back to me. No. I think almost, I, I think because he's impatient, we should just be like booting him in the back for turning around. How dare he? Remember your training. I think we've won another round, my friends. Okay. We might be on track to win. Those were the semifinals, right? Victory. The bout between Mangle Deva and Rutka has been decided. And it's, it's Mangle Deva versus us for the finale. King Biscotti of Balio Tyrania and Mangle Deva have reached the final. 76% chance that we will win. I have you now, prowess and intrigue. Your counter blow works, or I'd rather block than chance a counter. We're impatient and arrogant. Oh. I think, I, I, look, he is a trained knight. He's a trained knight. I think we're going to take on the stress. He's not going to take another risk. Do it. Your block succeeds, thank God. Remember your training. Oh my god, have we actually won a tournament? Oh, thank god. Finally. <laughs> it's taken so long. It's been so long since we won anything. Trumpet sound and the crowd clamors. Look, we gained stress because of how we won, but we lost all the stress because we won. I won. I actually won. You will uh, receive a prize when the tournament concludes. What sort of prize will it be? I bet she cheaped out on it, unlike us. 750 prestige, 220 gold, gifted duelist for five years. Gives us more prowess, so we've got, what, more chance of winning future tournaments, I hope. As you prepare for the upcoming match, I, squ I spot Queen Bagita, hailing me by waving a handkerchief around, offering me her favor. Of course we will. Of course we'll take that. And she is going to try and seduce us again. Wife, I'm sorry, it's just... It's just not going to happen. He's a gay man. No. Abandon this. I'm sorry, wife. It's just it's just not going to happen. He's never going to change his mind, okay? Oh! Well, I wanted to go back to the tournament grounds, but that's okay. We are about to wrestle Count Jeffrey. We've beaten you once, Jeffrey. Now we're going to beat you without armor, my friend. Do it. Coughing some dirt away from my eyes, I steady myself as the hoots and hollers of the crowd rain down around me. Jeffrey is in a little way away, a pair of us having disengaged briefly to catch our respective breaths. Is he limping slightly? If I jink right here, I'll be able to find out. This score increases greatly. Kick him in the leg. And then punch him in the liver. I think we've won. First round of wrestling down. Very nice. Okay. I'm confident. I'm ready. Next round, here we go. Semi-finals, I can do this, it's Rutger. Focus on headlocks, work on body grapples, or just get him to the ground. Do we go for high risk, high reward, medium risk, medium reward, or low risk, low reward? Um, actually... Let's go for this middle one. Let's look at the fail condition. 10%, 22%, 33%. Honestly, focus on the headlocks. Ooh, your tactic fails. Punch him in the liver. Oh my god, I think we won still. Whoa, that was a gamble, but we actually did it. That was a gamble, but we got away with it. Okay, I'm fine with it. Thank you. Victory. Amazing. Fine contest. Count Landolfu. The man looks mummified. This is going to be an easy battle. He's 108 years old. He's 63. I can do this. Here. Throw some dirt in his face. <laughs> Pocket sand. And then punch him in the river. Oh, we inherited someone's ornate ribbon. You're going to kill this old man. I think we just killed an old man, but you know what? I don't care because I think we've just won the wrestling tournament. Oh, victory. Victory. And there you go. Accomplished grappler. 750 prestige, 220 gold. And back to the tournament grounds, if you don't mind. Um, spice wine? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, disgusting. 
disgusting. We're arrogant. Look down on them. Puh. How could they do such a thing? Marching into the tourney grounds, I joined a group of contestants practicing their showmanship with measured enthusiasm. A few spectators looked down upon us, chewing roasted meat and spitting bones. The churls call for a spectacle. Some of us gripe at this distraction from training. Others amidst the hollering insist that it become a mo moment for proving. Ooh. Shall we scream at the crowd? Or shall we show everyone else how it's done? Arrogant. I feel like either of those are a good option. The top one, though, we got a 69% chance of increasing score moderately. Let's do it. Come on. You can do it. The training is embarrassing. Ah! Oh, I should have just shouted at the crowd. <laughs> well, never mind. Okay, and here we are. Ready to do some archery. We've never done archery before. This is the first time, so this should be... Should be interesting. Twang! The arrow from the capetta looses from the bow and thongs into the target. A light smattering of applause follows. I lean on my bow, bored, awaiting my turn. I mean, look, this guy is a trained knight. He knows how to fire a bow. Ah, uh, the mark is very temporary. When anyone notifies, script it out and move our mark back a few paces. Or, I'll have a wander off to chat to the crowd. You discover a secret about another competitor. Or, I have to bear with it. Oh, God. Okay, um... It's a 50% chance we can decrease his score... Or a 50% chance we're caught. Wow, I wonder if we're disqualified, though. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's not do that. He's not a sneaky... He's not a sneaky fella. I don't think he would. I flex the bowstring a few times, limbering up and taking a deep breath. Mustering all my control, I draw the bow into the air and slowly lowering it in line with the target. As soon as the arrow leaves my fingertips, I feel the shot is a good one. I've hit the target's nail right on its head. Yes. Moderate increase. I am one with my bow. Prowess and martial. 81% chance our score increases moderately. Yes, absolutely. And one last knock. Did we win? Oh, that looks like a that looks like a victory screen if I've ever seen one. Oh my god, we actually won. Yeah, I'm quite surprised too. Oh my god, wait, we won the whole competition. Archery contest winner. You gain... 750 prestige, 240 gold, and a merry aim for five years. Holy shit, we won the whole tournament. What a great occasion. We got the prize bowl, the prize scepter, and the prize wine ton. 31 experience in bowmanship, 7 in horse, and 65 in foot. Count Jeffrey got some prize armor. Duchess uh, Shrimi Tradevi, uh, this lady got the prestige and some renown and everything else holy shit we won three of them i'm so impressed by him what a guy and that sounds like that counts as furniture there it is prize wine ton night affecting us up by nine percent whoa wowee and um, was the other one oh my god the scepter was a pedestal item number of knights plus one. Oh, amazing and the other wasn't knights plus one man arms maintenance down by five percent holy crap We've almost filled up the entire throne room with that tournament. I couldn't have been any luckier. We also got a trinket. Uh, let's have a look here. See what we've got then. So we've got favor of a lady equipped right now. Gives fertility and renown. Not really too bothered about that one. Ornate ribbon gives prestige and seduction scheme. The old signet ring. We should get that equipped. Why have we not got that equipped, huh? Weird. And what's the other one? The rabbit's paw. Um, I think I'm fine keeping the rabbit's paw on. Wow, that actually worked out so well for us. I'm genuinely a little bit surprised. Hello, the King of Sweden wants to marry uh, my daughter to his son. Honestly, that's fine. That's okay. She could do a lot worse. Well, let's carry on. Prepare conscription. Army gold maintenance down by 15%. Army gold maintenance. That includes men at arms. Ooh, that's good. Hey, I'm happy with that one. Damn, and... and Overseer is the one that gives the control, right? Absolute control just lets you sit at like 100 permanently. Control growth 50%. Oh, shit. We're going to take total control of everything. Mark my words. What did we inherit? What did we inherit? What did I give away? I gave away Tortoli, right? Was it Tortoli I gave away? I think so. I honestly don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was this one, right? Hang on. Title history. Um, yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's give that one away again. Um, yeah. Anybody who's got good stewardship... Who isn't uh, preferably our religion and culture as well. Let's just go ahead and filter that through. Christianity, or preferably Catholicism. Preferably our culture. And sort by people who preferably also aren't landed. Not ruler. 
Um, yes, you seem like a... No, this person's genius. You seem like a more trustworthy fellow. That's good. There you go. Enjoy, my friend. Title's yours. Wow, look at how much cash we're sat on, too. 1,488. Good God. Um, favorite lady has low durability. Oh, I'm just gonna sell it. It's gonna break apart anyway, right? Holy shit. Okay, so we need worthy successes for our titles. Do we have any worthy successes? We do. This guy's really good. Okay, I'm happy to put him in control. And then this one. Um, we don't have a worthy successor for that one. This is a good way to get more knights. We're at 18 out of 27 on knights now. Jesus. Um, I'll just start recruiting a lot of people to court, even though they're bad. I, I think somebody... I, I think I remember asking this in a previous series and someone answering. I think they said that uh, I asked if uh, having... Any knight is better than, like, having a bad knight is better than having no knights. And apparently, yes, you should just get as many knights as possible. Because each knight counts for, you know, like, a, a far more than they're worth their weight in units, so to speak. So we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll just, we'll just take anybody to fill a gap, basically. Well, let's start upgrading them while I've got so much bloody money. Uh, what's going on here? It's nightfall and Gisela is hard at work when we arrive in the cereal field south of Kona. She appears to be flattening crops at a rapid pace using a large flat piece of wood and some heavy stones. I frown as I watch the woman performing a labor and then inquire exactly what she's up to. She winces and then starts a long rant about how we need to wake up and meet our true master instead of hiding behind false Christian teachings. What's she doing? She's like smashing wheat? What? How could you do that? No, stop that, you heretic. What's wrong with you? Oh, and there's a tomb. Um, no, it's got a nice ring to it. We're, we're not gonna... Would we... Would we really care, though? That's a, that's probably an even fairer point. He's not pious. I don't think he'd also spend his money on a... Nah, just get... Move on. <laughs> move on. Let's travel home first before I get to... Uh, Caught up in all the other stuff. My lord, my lord, please, put a moment of your time to hear my latest poem. This isn't the first Italian who's tried to introduce me to their poetry, and considering the road ahead, surely not the last. There must be a true infatuation with poetry here. We should talk and learn more. Refine poetry tradition. Down by a thousand, but we're arrogant. Or, we think we would make a better poet. So you know what? God damn it, we are. And in fact, there you go. Immediately, we have become a good poet. Oh, that's actually really good. Diplomacy poet level of fame, plus one. Very nice. What a fine day like this. The weather is nice. The pastures of Piombino looking... God, we're getting so many travel events now. Looking great. And the local livestock are positively jumping and cheering up their own guttural manner. The local patriarch uh, approaches me. I'll find morning to you, my lord. Are these beauties not a sight to behold? I can apply some of this back home. 100% chance that we improve the pastures. Whoa. Building construction time and cost is down in the capital for 15 years. Absolutely. We should travel more often just to get some of these minor events, huh? Who is going to educate young Biscotti Carling? Uh, of course. Who better to educate Biscotti than Biscotti? <laughs> Bis Biscotti knows Biscotti. What can I say? Um, no, you're fine. Let's forage and hunt. Why? But you're literally just about to land home, you fool. Oh, no. We're going to starve. Ah, Landolf. Landolf may be appointed the Knights of Balio Tyrenia. Very good. Thank you, Landolf. Oh, we're up to 21 Knights now. Very good. Here. Successor, you will do. He's not very good, but that's, I mean, it's better than, again, literally better than nothing. This guy's good. Let's recruit him. 21 out of 29. That's a lot of knights. Bear in mind, our knight effectiveness is up as well because of our papal tiara. <laughs> our fake crown? Very bizarre. Hey, money from the Pope. More specifically, 807 gold from the Pope. Is there ever a reason not to just always take money from the Pope? Why would I, why would I, why would I not do that? I love Pope money. You go to Messina. Go hang out there for a while. Okay. I think the situations are all under control. Venice we can't do anything about, so don't worry about that one so much. Well, now that we've got all this cash, let's start upgrading. Oh my god, we could upgrade the palace. If I can click it. If I can if I could click the click the palace. Can I use the arrow keys to go to the I wanna look at the palace, friend. But the interface is too big! I wanna upgrade my damn palace! I can't believe you've done this. Okay, maybe maybe this interface mod might have to go because this is this is ah there you go. Okay, I'll let you off. Um, gives us way more prestige, way more stress loss. Hostile scheme success chance, personal scheme success chance up by ten percent. That's significant, and it's only five hundred and forty-three gold. It's only going to take seven months to build it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm happy to do it. And there's the money from the Pope. The deserters. I'm leaving a patrol when we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of the night. 
I recognize Toggly, my knight. My lord, whispers one of the men. They are deserting. Abs apprehend them. I've got enough problems trying to get knights as it is. For God's sake. After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. My lord, these are only children. They just want to go home. <sighs> the price of betrayal must be paid. Execute them all. Or you'll scrub the latrines for months. Or I'll tell you a story about discipline and honor. This guy is so up his own ass and so high on his own farts that I think he would be happy to give them the lecture. And my god, it worked. To inspire loyalty in the troops in such a way as show me that there is more to being a commander than the strength of your arm. Two more. Two more, and then we can take over, sir. Very happy to see it. Factions? What do you mean factions? Good lord, look at the money we're making now. This is great. This worked out so well. Now we've got to ask ourselves, with the last few years of this guy's life, are we going to shoot for Byzantium? I would like to take Crete, I think, and Cyprus. What, what, what is this called? Chania and Chandax. Right. Let's see how it looks. If we say... Uh, are these not in alphabetical order? That's very annoying. Uh, Chania. If we grab those and then we go for Cyprus later, what do you think? Go for like the Aegean Islands too? And look at all the allies we would bring in. We're, we're about to start World War I. This is going to be like all of like Western Central Europe versus Eastern Europe. We're going to cause a total mess here. 75,000 versus 40,000. We're going to put that many men to die so that we can take a single island county. Oh, Lord. Are we going to do that? Really? I could. Oh, God. Okay. That's for tomorrow, then. You know what? Give me some feedback on that before I dive into it. Is it worth it? It's going to cost us so much money and so much time and so much prestige to take a single county that's probably just going to get conquested again by Byzantium. If there's a better option, you know, if there is somewhere sensible we could gun for, maybe someone with, like, a unique holding, I'm happier to do that instead. But shit, maybe we should just be, like, going for Sicily because they're on the Mediterranean. We can, we can do anywhere. In we could even go for Rome. I feel like I wouldn't because that would very much upset the Pope. But that's the point. Like we could a anywhere on the Mediterranean is an object, not just you know islands. So I'm not sure. Let, let convince me, and we'll talk more about this tomorrow.